Hey, boat friends. Good morning here in Duluth, Minnesota. I'm going to zoom in real quick. We have a thousand foot vessel that's going to be coming inbound through the Duluth piers. You can see it in the distance. That is the Burns Harbor. Just wanted to give you a quick peek before I get out there and show you more what's going on. Let me show you real quick with the sailboats out here. Let me get you set with the conditions. 75 degrees. Light wind. I just jumped over the, the wall here. Light wind, 10 miles per hour. You can see right there out of the southwest. Hey everybody, how are you? David, George, Karen, Tersa, everybody, Peter. We were talking a little bit before I went live here in the chat. And uh, one thing that I want to pass along, anybody that's watching this live stream after it has posted, keep in mind, you probably want to, if you can, subscribe and then set your notifications to on. So that way you can see when I go live, because these ships are just hard to predict as far as when they will go out. So that's what I would recommend. So you can catch these live streams with me subscribe and then hit your notification bell on there and that'll just alert you when I am about to go live. And usually what I do, as you can see here, I have that screen that lets you know I'm going to be out there at a certain time. So maybe half an hour beforehand, I usually do it. So that way you know what's going on. But uh, anyway, let me show you what's happening in the area before we see this huge thousand footer. I'm going to be able to zoom in. We're going to have the advantage here with the sun on the backside as it goes through. So I get some good coloring for you. At one point, there was about a dozen sailboats. Maybe you can see in the distance out there, you see some more of those sails way out there on the horizon. Beautiful day for sailing. It's going to get up to about 90 degrees here in Duluth today. Hope everybody's doing good. Give you a quick appetizer before the 1,000-footer goes out. Take a quick peek at this good-looking boat. I see a lot of fishing poles that are in the back. On the stern side, you'll see. But this thousand footer, the Burns Harbor, is coming in for fuel. It's, it's low on fuel. So it's going to go straight over to the fuel dock. It's going to fuel up and it's going to go out to Silver Bay to load iron ore. That's a good looking boat. Give you a shot of this good looking sailboat out here. Beautiful sail. Again, I'm just gonna have some fun walking around showing you what's going on before this huge thousand footer comes through Duluth. You just sit back, relax. It's the start of the Labor Day weekend. Saturday, got a few more days to go. There's gonna be a lot of barbecuing, a lot of chilling out, having some fun, watching some ships. So we'll make it count. Let me point out real quick to some of the people that are joining that probably aren't familiar with this bridge right here. This is the area lift bridge. It's going to go up 135 feet once that ship gets closer. And right there, that is where the lift bridge operator controls the bridge. They have a variety of different screens and a lot of information that's in there for them to keep track of the vessels. And I was looking for the horns. Chuck was interested in checking out some of these horns that are on top of the bridge so i'm going to try to zoom in up there and see if we can find them together but uh, what will happen is once these once the ship goes under the bridge or prior to there's probably going to be a salute and you'll hear a horn from this huge thousand foot vessel and then you will hear the return from the lift bridge a captain salute possibly a master salute let me see right between i can see it but i'm hoping that you'll be able to pick up on it too look between the crack right there in the middle of the screen between one of those bars you can actually see that thousand footer that's out there i'll move back and forth so you can see the contrast it's coming we're gonna have some fun watching it let me show you the 
the turnout. I'll walk further down that South Pier with you here in one moment, but let's take a look at the turnout of the people that have made it here today. Really good turnout. That's the very end of the North Pier. You can see people have congregated. They're ready to rock. Check it out. Let's just kind of pan all the way back to the left here and see what's going on. As that ship gets closer, you're going to see more people crowd around that wall checking things out. But again, Labor Day weekend, lots of people will be out here having some fun. Some people have seen the ships many times. Some people, this might be their first time. And for those people that it's their first time, this is going to be a fun thousand foot ship to check out. take a quick peek down Park Point Beach and in some of the prior videos you probably recall you see that flag that's up here right now we have a green flag that's a good sign for the people that want to get out there and go swimming on Park Point Beach because there are rip currents that do happen on Lake Superior good amount of people out there in the morning there's definitely gonna be more people this afternoon as it gets closer to 90 degrees A lot more people than I'm used to, especially at this time in the morning down South Pier. That's cool. It's just a sign of people out here on vacation. And I pointed this out before, so for those that might be joining for the first time, if you are ever here in Duluth, sometimes people are having some fun hanging on the edge of this wall. If there's any issues that ever happen, you have ladders that are all the way down. So if you happen to fall in, swim to the ladder. If you do see someone that falls in right here and it goes all the way down the wall, there's many of these gray boxes, open that up and throw them a buoy ring. There's one inside, just throw it out. Not saying something like that will happen when you're here, but it's, uh, it's a good idea to be prepared. I'm one of those people that calls ahead of time places to make sure they're really open and there's no issues. So. I think being prepared, not a, not a bad idea, right? Well, let's walk further down together. I'm going to pass through the green gates. And I'll be able to show you a little more on the Park Point side as well. Take a look at the Duluth skyline together. Now you'll be able to see the, the burns. Look to the, let me get a little close over here to the left. Zoom down, and you can see that superstructure, and in particular, you can see those bridge wings that form almost a T at the very top. We'll talk about that as it goes through. But look at this gorgeous day. Lots of people joining here on the live. I hope everybody's doing good. Well, let's kick it off. We have a lot of people in here. Let's get to know each other. What city, what state, what country, where are you at? What's the temperature? Let's get a flavor of what's going on. As I mentioned, I'm here in Duluth, Minnesota. It's around 75 degrees. Tursa just actually mentioned a really good point. The water temperature here on Lake Superior, or in Lake Superior, 59 degrees. 59 degrees right now. Hey, there's Art. How are you? 84 degrees. Having some fun. And again, I just want to point out, since we have so many people in here right now watching the live stream, that those that are new to the channel, I'm out here all the time checking out ships, boats, anything really maritime related that goes through Duluth and Superior. When I do travel, I also check out some ships, but predominantly it's right here in Duluth. So if you're interested in watching ships, go under the lift bridge and hearing a little story about them before they depart or arrive that's what i do on this channel so consider subscribing and you know what to all the people that watch this channel that watch regularly if you're not subscribed just go ahead and hit subscribe while you're watching right now make it official we're both friends right and also set that notification so you can so you can watch live when i come out here so the burns is getting closer i see someone has a fishing pole that's just sitting there. What do you think? If there's one on the line, do, is it, am I, do I gotta grab it? All 
I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to make that decision on the fly. So keep your eye on that pole. If that starts bending, let me know. Well, you can see more people coming out here on the south pier. Got another boat going through. Another appetizer for you before the thousand footer. And again, everybody, I keep my eye on what's going on out here. So forgive me if I'm not quick in those comments. I'll go back and check them later. But feel free just to talk about what's going on with each other. I'm just looking for some good visuals to show you. And in the distance is kind of a weird name. You might have recalled on a previous video. Out there in the middle of the screen, it's in the water. It's called... Uncle Harvey's Mausoleum. And that's a structure that's in the water. It used to be a, a sand delivery point where vessels will come in and deliver sand. And that structure is still just in the water. Show you the hillside here in Duluth. So look in the distance there. Beautiful looking, especially at night. That's really when it's fun because you can see all those lights. And as we get closer over here to the left, keep your eye on the, the hill. You can see those towers that illuminate red at night for us. And once that bridge starts to make the noise with the bell, we're going to focus on the Burns Harbor. It's just some uh, playing around, having some fun together. People out here on the Park Point Beach. And one thing about the, the city of Duluth, especially right here in Park Point, if you can see, some of you have heard the story before, but let me mention it. And before I get into that story, we got a lot of people in here. Make sure that you hit a like button. Let's hit a like button because that will feed the YouTube algorithm and push more boat fans this way during the video while I'm live. So please hit that like button if you're in here right now having some fun. That'll just pull, uh, pull more people in here to have fun with us as it gets closer. Well, what you see here is the canal. And this used to be a point that was connected all the way down at, at one time. And Park Point goes down seven miles from the lift bridge. And it's the largest freshwater sandbar in the world. That's a pretty interesting fact, and it really is sand all the way. I mean, typically when you think about Duluth and the North Shore, if you've been all the way down, let's say, to Grand Marais or some of these other areas, yeah, there's a lot of rocks, but this is all sand. Well, here you go. Aerial lift bridge. This is the time you've been waiting for. There's going to be some action right now. Aerial lift bridge is going up 135 feet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stick with this shot, and we're going to turn around and take a look at the the Burns Harbor, but give you a moment to watch that area lift bridge going up 135 feet for a thousand foot ship. And I'm going to keep that South Pier walkway here on the, the canal wall in there for you as well. And again, I hope everybody has some awesome plans for the weekend. This is going to be my only video today. I got some things going on, but we'll make it a good one. I wanted to do an extended version. And it's so fun after the videos, looking at the comments, just reading what people are doing, and we go back and forth and have a lot of fun. I try my best to throw links in there for you too. So as people talk about where they're from or different ships. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Again, one of these points where I look down and see someone. I always try to put those links in there just so it gives us a little more information about the topic. And one thing that I did see a little earlier, again, I don't know if the person's going to make an appearance, but one of those people that have those motorized uh, contraptions with the parachute. So the person was flying around with the parachute here a little earlier, so that definitely would add into the mix here on the video. What you see in the distance there, that is the west hillside of Duluth there. That building that's blue, that's the Great Lakes Aquarium.
Well, here comes the star of the show now. Burns Harbor. I'm just looking for the best spot where I think we can observe this together. So what I think I'm going to do, just for the moment, to create something a little different, is I'm going to set up the camera right here so we can watch the people. We'll watch the vessel get close to us. And then as it gets closer to the piers, I'm going to move over to the wall so we can really look at that vessel. So this will give you something to look at. Also, that is intentional. That fishing pole is in the, the camera view because we got to keep our eye out just in case. I'm going to come to the rescue possibly. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pass along the facts about the, Burn Har the Burns Harbor right now. So then we are all set to really watch it. So here's the action time. As you can see, it's starting to make its way to the piers. Burns Harbor, 1,000 feet in length, as I mentioned. Built in 1980. It has an 80,000-ton cargo capacity. And at this time, it's coming in for fuel. And I'll show you that here in a moment. It's going to go through the lift bridge and right into the harbor basin. Pretty quick shot for it to, to grab that fuel. Now, it has four 3,500 horsepower General Motors electric motive division diesel engines. So that's for all the people that love those engine details. I made sure to add that in there. So that's a total of uh, 14,000 horsepower this vessel can put out. Two propellers, 37 hatches, seven holds, it's owned and operated by the American Steamship Company, who acquired this vessel in 2005. But again, just a, a huge, impressive, good-looking vessel. It's also equipped with and to load iron ore pellets. Well, again, everybody that's in here, hit like right now. This is when it's going to pull people in so we can watch us. And I appreciate you. And uh, in the future, definitely tomorrow, I'm going to do a live stream. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification so then you can see when I'm out here. It's usually, usually half an hour that I give you as far as time before I come out. So just make sure you have that notification turned on. Oh, I didn't see a Ram Tough Mama. Is she in here? So she was uh, here a few weeks back and she had a, she took a trip up to Duluth and Fortunate for her, she was able to see the cruise ship. Uh, Arthur Anderson went out within an hour of each other, and we got to talk after I was done doing a live stream, and uh, it was it was pretty cool. So nice seeing you on here. Hopefully you have a great uh, Labor Day weekend in store. As for all of you, now we're going to get to the the fun part. Once it starts getting close to the piers. I'm going to hug this wall and we're going to check things out. Let me give you one quick spin. And once I spin back around to the Burns Harbor, that's where we're going to stay. Just want to show you what's going on at the last second. You can see the sunshine bouncing off the lake. Well, here we go, boat friends. It's action time, game time. Let's get in the game and check out the star of the show. Another appetizer coming through. Looks like another fishing vessel. But here you go. You know what I'll do just to give you a little more action. Let's just pull it back. I'll give you kind of what people are doing walking around. This adds to the fun. And if you look right over there, let me see if I can point right here, you can see a Vista Star vessel that's waiting for the arrival and it's probably going to trail the Burns Harbor in. Yeah, exactly. EA Sports, it's in the game, George said. Oh yeah, I've heard that many times. That's uh... But again, appreciate you always joining and we're going to have some fun. And what I'm going to do moving forward, it's going to be a combination of videos that I do that are high quality, so the 4K videos you will be seeing of these ships. I'm going to be transitioning to live stream as well.
quite a bit. So this is going to be multiple times a week you will see that. So just keep your eye out for that. And you never know where I'm going to be. That's what I like to do is I like to switch it up. I don't want to do the same thing back to back. You never know where I'm going to be, and that's the fun about it. So a couple hundred people and climbing right now watching this live stream. Hope everybody's doing great. To anybody that's new that just joined here in the last uh, 10 minutes, everybody uh, mentioned their city, their state, their country, wherever they're from, and the temperature. So throw that in there. It would be great to get to know you. Wow, a lot of people watching right now. That's awesome. Well, let me just uh, pass along some quick facts. Anybody that's new, this is Duluth, Minnesota. This is on Lake Superior. We're watching a thousand foot ship come in right now. It's gonna be heading over to the fuel dock. As you can see, dual anchors there on the bow. I'm gonna take a quicker look, take a quick peek at what that draft is. 78 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, Grant. So let's get a quick hit on the draft. Looks like 20 feet. And you see that circle? That's with the four markings. That just means there's a bow thruster below, so that's telling tugboats and any vessels to stay away. Incredible looking ship. Coming in pretty thirsty. <laughs> Can you tell how high up out of the water this is right now? I mean, this looks just like a huge wall in front of me. Draft at 20 feet. And again, what that means is there's 20 feet of the ship below water still. Incredible ship. And I've pointed this out in the past. The Eiffel Tower is 1,082 feet tall to the communication antenna at the very top. This is 1,000 feet. So basically lay the Eiffel Tower on its side and you have that moving through the canal right now. Beautiful day. Again, lift bridge up 135 feet. Look at that huge boom that's on deck. Let's look at the superstructure. And what you see right here, these are called bridge wings that push out there on the side. They're on both sides and that just aids in visibility. You can imagine with a ship this large, you need to have the ability to see what's going on. Take a look at the the kick up here. Well, now let me give you a full length of the vessel going under the aerial lift bridge. Let's take a look at what kind of things they have back there on the, the stairway. See a barbecue. But there you go. Two stacks. We're going to walk with it here for a moment. Again, on its way in to Duluth to load fuel, it's going to go straight ahead and just to the left, and the fuel dock is right there. I'm going to stay with the pivot here for a moment. You can do some people watching and ship watching at the same time. I'm going to get on the other side of the green gates here, and we're going to watch the turn into the harbor. But boat friends, good one here. Beautiful conditions. I had the light right behind me, so I wasn't fighting getting the colors for you. And now you can see that boom a little better there on deck. But can you imagine parking this on the dock? I've said it before, in my SUV, I have problems parking in a Target parking lot. Was it? Uh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was yesterday. I was at... Um, a place in Superior, Wisconsin, it's called the Anchor Bar, and it's it been on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Pretty famous place for burgers. And as I was in there, there was um, three people that got the server's attention, and they had a big black bag, and it was a huge buoy ring from the Manitoulin. So the ship Manitoulin, their captain and two crew members, donated 
this buoy ring that they have because it's a maritime bar. And, you know, I was able to, to talk with the captain and a few of the crew members for a brief moment, but just wanted to say what's up to them. Really nice people. And there you go. Boat friends, this is what these lives are all about right now. This is what's going on. You're watching it. We're on the South Pier. And again, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification so you can see me come out and do the lives. I guess, you know, I've picked that up from some of the other YouTubers that say the same thing. But And what you just heard, this vessel right here is a Vista tour vessel. So they go around the harbor if you're here in Duluth and show you all the docks and where the ships go. Pretty interesting tour if you're here. Well, guess what? Boat friends, this will be my only video of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time with you. And a lot, a lot of people joined the live stream here today. So, again, look forward to seeing you. 99.9% will be out there tomorrow, so keep your eye on the ships have your notification set because I don't know which ship I'll be out there with. And we will do this again tomorrow. So have a great.